If it bleeds, we can kill it. And all of these characters certainly bled, and all of these characters were certainly killed. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Entertainment here with our last pre video. We reviewed the movie, we've ranked the characters. You can go check those videos out right now, but first, stick around because we have to rank the deaths. Although, I mean, it probably would make sense to go and check out the review if you haven't seen it. So, <laughs> ignore me, go check out the review. Spoiler alert, we gave it a 5 out of 10. But here, it's October. It is horror madness here on Fog Entertainment. If you like your horror, then you'll like it here, buddy. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. Not many characters in this film, so we combined the deaths. We, I mean, if, if we took all the individual deaths, it would have been like 39 in total. We ain't going to do that. So we've just basically added most of the, the, the groups together, like the friends and then the, the tribe members. So with that said... Let's get into it. Sixth place, we've got Packer. This guy talked a good game. He talked as if he was on Tabby's level. He told Naru to go back to camp. You're not capable. I'll stick around. I'll sh watch me. I'll show you how to kill the lion. And then basically the lion just grabbed him out the tree. And, I mean, the, the lion grabs him out the tree. And then the lion, literally like a second later, jumps up on top of the tree and, and, and takes on Naru. So it's like... How quickly did the lion kill this guy? Yeah, and... In it must have been an instant kill. Also, how f the branch wasn't even that thick, man. It's I don't fucked. think it would have supported the weight. Especially not the lion. lion would have easily weighed about 500 pounds. And these guys didn't have much beef on them? Like? No, they didn't. They did. No, yeah, that's one thing they didn't have. But the lion had beef with this guy, and it was off-screen, so that's yeah, why it's off last. Off-screen, you got to be I last. think off-screen deaths can be done pretty well. But not this one. Not this one, no. He didn't win the fight. There's no conceivable way he won the fight. Anyway, um, right, number this five. Was an indecisive ref. Number five, we've got Tabby. I think this was an indecisive death. Uh, the, honestly, man, the, I think this could have been last. Tabby is kicking the Predator's ass. He, I mean, he's beating it up for Will. The Predator goes invisible. And then Tabby pretty much just turns around, turns his back to the Predator as if he's not even in a fight, as if there's no danger surrounding him. And instead of continuing to go on the attack or try and hide or go into stealth mode, he basically just stands there out in the open telling his sister, it thinks I'm a threat. You get out of here. Well, I mean, you are kicking its ass, so of course it's going to think you're a threat. And then it just impales him from behind. Um, he then gets thrown to the ground. Predator tries to take out Naru. He stabs the Predator in the thigh. And then the Predator turns around and just like impales him through the head, killing him. Uh, the, the reason it sucked for me is because he was basically winning and then he just gave up. This would be like a boxer bashing someone around for 11 rounds. They're, they're winning the fight halfway through the 12th round and then they literally just turn their back to the boxer and allow them to deliver a knockout blow to the back of their head for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> would be an illegal manoeuvre. <laughs> they, 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 uh... they, they turn around and tell their corner man. This guy thinks I'm a threat. I've been kicking his ass for 11 and a half rounds. Run. You know, it's like, I mean, that's what it is. I mean, yo, you could argue it made him look strong, but... Yeah, but also made the predator look weak. No, it was fucking retarded, actually. Yeah, that, that, no. No, look how easily the predator was killing... Why did he give up? Look how easily the predator was killing everyone else. I mean, like, especially... Well, well, we'll talk, we'll just go straight... It was a, it was a hot and cold predator. We'll, we'll just go straight into it. Number four, we've got the French... Um, this basically, yeah, there was individual kills and things like that, but there was like a montage where the Predator just basically killed about 30 members of the French within a minute, and it's like, see how easily it was, and some of them, the kills were cool, don't get me wrong, I mean, there was one like with a net, where it cast a net over a guy, and then the net kind of just like turned into like a laser wire, and it just fucking sliced the guy into a million pieces. Thing, this is in 1776. There was, like, no dialogue between any of the groups, like, here, this technology, futuristic, no? See? Quite what? Yeah, I mean, there was nothing like, really they weren't even, like, they get this guy's whipping out fucking lasers, man, and, like, <laughs> you know, wired fucking grenades, and the French, who at this point hadn't even invented the fucking, like, the telephone or nothing? Yeah, pretty strange. Anyway, the French were just there to make up the numbers and to die, and that's kind of what they did. Sounds like both world wars. <laughs> White flags, bitch. Coming in at number three, we've got the Predator. So, the, I mean, the Predator, the, the death itself, I guess, is a little bit unique. I mean, the Predator gets outsmarted. Naru manages to trap it. it it's, its helmet had been knocked off. It, its mask had been knocked off at this point. 
and she positioned the mask so that the aiming feature, the target feature, the predator would malfunction in instead of aiming its laser at her. It kind of did like a 180 and went through like an amaze kind of <laughs> direction and, and the predator basically ended up shooting himself in the head because the uh, the mask and the aiming malfunctioned and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, it was an okay death, but I mean, it is what it is. I just thought the fact they got stuck in fucking mud is pathetic. I get she got stuck in mud, right? And she had to use her wee... Um, she weighs about 10 pounds, though. I Predator's feel, a fucking 500 pound easy I, machine. I feel like the Predator, with all its like gadgets. enhancements and gadgets, must have an, a way of just like leaping out of that. I know, I totally yeah, I agree. Now, maybe it's not possible. Maybe, maybe, you, maybe you can. I don't know. Maybe there's no mud on fucking Juniper or something. But I thought the Predator basically getting defeated by, you know, Quicksand or whatever was a bit, <laughs> a bit lame. Uh, second place, we have Raphael. Now, he was, he almost survived. He was camouflaging because he was sick. He, he lost a leg. And uh, Naru treated him with some medicine, which turned down the temperature of the body. And I don't know how cool his body got, but it was not able to be detected by the Predator's heat magnet. So therefore, the Predator could not actually identify Raphael, who was laying on the ground. And I thought that was pretty cool. So I'll give that credit there. Yeah, I, I like that part, but... Now, unfortunately for Raphael, the Predator stepped on him, and that caused Raphael to, like, kind of set up like the Undertaker, and the Predator killed him straight away. Now, at this point, Raphael didn't have a weapon, Raphael's leg was, like, cut off, and he was laying on the ground, and he didn't look like much of a threat, but the Predator still killed him. Now, is this because he was a threat previously, so therefore the Predator finishes you off? No, because when when she got caught in the trap and had no weapons on her, it deemed her not a threat, despite previously being a threat. So, so is this just a flaw? Yeah, it's a fucking flaw. So it's a flaw? It's a flaw. It's a F-L-A-W. It's a flaw! And uh, coming at number one then, we've got the tribe. You know what? I think this scene was pretty good. They're walking back to camp and... They see the lasers on them, like, what the hell's this? And then one of them gets, like, a bunch of arrows through, uh, through the chest. Uh, the other one's, like, shoot into action. And they get a little bit of offense, but not, like, an unrealistic amount. Yeah, this was fine. And we get to see... We, I thought it was a good it was a good fight scene, because it was, like, four on one. And uh, in the end, you know, the Predator... Well, over... see, I think this is the difference between this and the original Predator. It's like, the original Predator never revealed himself to everyone. It wouldn't have went into this situation. True, but the original Predator was up against guys that had weapons that could do damage. Big guys. I mean, the, this Predator was up against guys that weren't really... Yeah, but it still deems him a threat, you know what I mean? A no, a it threat. does, but I mean, I, I'm sure when the Predator looks at Arnold Schwarzenegger, then it looks <laughs> at Mr. Native Toothpick here. It's probably, you know, I think it would... I think it would I look need at, to use my stealth here. I think it would look at Arnold and go, here, that's a bigger threat. There must be a threat meter. Idiots! His weapons are each other! I mean, the Predator must have some sort of threat meter to determine who's the bigger threat here and how, how hard it needs to really try. Anyway, this was a decent wee death here the Tribe got. You know, congratulations to them. They put up a good fight, but in the end, the Predator won. And that's it, guys. That's our list. If you if you disagree, then, I mean, let us know down below. It's not personal. It's our list. It's our opinion. And that's us done with Predator. We'll be back tomorrow for a brand new movie, guys. October 2nd. What are we going to watch? What are we going to see? You're going to have to tune in to find out. But we'll catch you next time, guys. Till then, peace.